Hello, I am back again, and this is the latest version of my uh, humanoid robots. And obviously it's following on from the one that I did uh, a couple of months ago. And as you can see here are the battery packs that I have put on the leg just above the ankle. I've only done one so far, and uh, I've just cut out some bits for the, uh, for the second one. Um... So it looks like it fits in there okay. Um, you can see now where I've put the um, top half onto the midsection. And I've also simplified the design slightly and I got rid of a whole chunk of stuff that I didn't really need. So um, all the functionality is there. I just need to test it. But well, obviously um, Batteries are an essential, as I haven't got a power supply big enough to drive all of these servos. So what I'm going to do is have two battery packs, one on this side, one on that side, diode couple them together, and uh, each one of these is 13 amp hour. Um, so I'll have 26 amp hours to play with, in total at about 7 odd volts. So that should be enough to, uh, to power this for, for quite some time, really. Um, if you just look closely at these ankles here, uh, there we go. You can see a bit of suspension built in to the ankle itself, so I don't have to rely on the servos doing all of the work in lifting up the whole of the body. Um, it's probably unclear at the moment, but until I power it up, it's very, very difficult for me to show you. Um, one thing that you can see is if you see the springs on this side, as I push the robot and let go it kind of self-centers because of these springs either side if I stand up on the top of this ladder and give you a kind of plan view it might be easier to see so if I stand up here push the whole thing Yeah, so it's self-centering. Right, I think that'll do for now. I think you get the gist of it. So, the next version, I should be able to power up some of these servos and uh, see it moving. So, until then, cheerio.